Um, really useful exercise, it seems, for your, for your side tonight. Yeah, look, it was good to get um, some minutes for some, especially a few of the boys, Jack Sarby, Michael Harriman, Scotty Pollock, uh, Benny, um, and, and to get Jordan a bit more game time. So all over the pitch, um, Johnny Maxted, you know, uh, Dylan Connolly, I could go through the whole lot really, but there's various reasons why we needed fitness um, for, for each individual really. So yeah, good. Yeah, good, good minutes as you said, and, uh, and, and good to see players in different positions, different, different partnerships, uh, and, and that side of the, the squad as well. Yeah, look, as we say throughout pre-season and the start of the season, we're trying to build these partnerships, and uh, yeah, it was encouraging tonight, uh, especially to come away to the league leaders and, and uh, you know, play such a, a mixed team, but uh, to come out um, with a draw and uh, a win on penalties, yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm just trying to get my head around that, but uh, yeah, it's good overall. Uh, first 20 minutes, obviously, they started well, you're on the back foot a bit, but you must be happy how your side responded in the game. Yeah, I, I thought the, the first goal was a little bit too soft and not how we'd want to press and, it, you know, we can be better in that. And uh, But then thereafter, yeah, you're right, we, uh, we worked hard and, and grew into the game and grew with a bit more confidence. And, uh, you know, Nicky had that one-on-one -on -one effort and, uh, and then we had another one just after that as well. But, um, yeah, overall... It was, it was an encouraging performance. Good to see Michael Harriman back, as you said. And, yeah. and you're back for tonight. Jordan Flores at, at left back and Sam Hoskins at right yeah. back. I think when the team sheet came out, everyone was trying to work out where they were playing. But, but they did really well. I think you guys got it spot on, though, didn't you? So, um, but look, you know, it, there's some adaptability, a bit of flex there. And what we wanted to do is rest um, a, a number of key players that, that had nearly played um, all the minutes so far. John Guthrie, Mitch Pinnock. Um, there's a couple of rests in it at the moment at home. So, look, you know, that was important as well. And we wanted to get minutes in, in players. So it's no injuries tonight, which has been good. Yeah, good to see Scott Pollock pop up mm. with the goal as well. He did some hard work on that left-hand side. And a good header as well. Was slightly behind him, he did well. Yeah, he did very well to control the header and put it in the far corner. Great cross by Dylan. And, uh, yeah, that's what you want from your, uh, your wide men or midfielders arriving late in the box. And I thought it was a, a very well-timed header. And he's one of those players desperate for more minutes, of course. And how much did he impress you tonight? How close has he been? Because obviously he's missed a lot of football, so he's, he's, come, he's still coming back. And you've got a strong squad now. How close is he to, to being involved on, on league games? Yeah, it's tough, Jake. As a young man who's been out for 16 months, and what you've got to be careful of is not to overdo it with Scott. But, you know, it's, it's, it's hard. We've got a strong squad, and um, he's got to deserve the opportunity to get in there through performances. I thought he did very well tonight. I thought he was very assured and calm on the ball. And that's what you get with Scott. Um, a little bit out of position for him, but um, he adapted well and wanted him to tuck in and play between the lines there a little bit more. And uh, yeah, look, I thought it was a very encouraging performance for Scott. Yeah, we mentioned him already, and then Tim just spoke to him. Sam Hoskins, the right back, had a really good game and, and 250th appearance as well, which is in, in this modern era, at this level for the league, in the lower leagues, it, it's almost unheard of, isn't it? And again, proving why he's, he's so valuable to the club. Yeah, look. Um, you know, he's, he's got two promotions with the club um, and he's 250 games is, shows a lot of loyalty um, and he's, uh, he's usually up for selection every week. He's, you know, he's, he's fit, he's robust and he's, he's a great servant. He gives everything he's got every time he plays and um, you can't ask much more from that. And, uh, you know, hope, let's hope uh, he, uh, he continues making a lot more appearances for this football club. And uh, like I've said before, you know, everyone at this football club, we appreciate him um, and his hard work and efforts and, uh, in, in our town anyway. I've just seen a couple of the youngsters going with a broom into the changing room. I can hear them sweeping in the background. They didn't, they didn't get on tonight, but it's a great experience them being part of the, the match day squad. Yeah, of course, they get to experience the, you know, the analysis we do and the brief before the game and how we want to play and what we want to do. And you know, it's a it's a different experience from the youth team. But you know, all the habits we do uh, run th throughout the club. But um, very important for them to be around um, the adult players, the, the adult group, and uh, and see how they act, and they, they they warm up, and you know, so it's it's very good, it's all learning for them, yeah. Um, just, just one on transfers, you obviously brought in Dominic Revan on loan from, from Aston Villa um, earlier today, uh, 
What's he bring you? How, how long have you been looking at him? And obviously, with his cover for, for Joseph Mills as well. He's come on the radar. Um, obviously, um, probably tracked him for a couple of weeks. We thought we might need cover there, but it, it really has become prevalent that we really did need cover. Um, you know, he's he's uh, under 23 and it, from Villa, and uh, you know, he's got a lot of pace. Um, he's aggressive and uh, look, he's come in as defensive cover. Well, that's as simple as it is. Just looking at the time, you've got an hour and a half. <laughs> anything else to be done? No, I don't think there'll be anything done now. And just finally then looking ahead, back to, back to the league and, and back at home on, on, on Saturday as well. Plenty of options, plenty of people putting their hands up as well. How much are you looking forward to that one? Yeah, looking forward to it. I hope, let's hope we get a big crowd there. You know, um, Thanks to all the fans who travelled away tonight. I'm glad we at least Keep saying, got a draw or win type of thing. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Draw and but a half. Draw and a half, okay. Um, but no, thanks to them uh, travelling down tonight. Really appreciate that. But let's hope we can uh, fill six fields on uh, Saturday. And, you know, look, we'll uh, be going to be as positive, positive as we can against uh, Scunthorpe on uh, Saturday. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks, boys.